Hello. <laughs> Don't know what that was. Um, hello and welcome. I am doing consultations today and I wanted to talk about something just briefly. I read a lot and I hear a lot and I know a lot. No, just kidding. I know that a lot of people think that a person with a PDA profile of autism or pathological demand avoidance, oh, I love saying that, requires a level of control. So what is said about us, because I am a pda -er, is that we have to be in control all the time. And yeah, I mean, I can't disagree with that, but I'd like to frame it differently. People with a PDA profile have a very strong, rock solid sense of social justice. And when we enter an environment where there's any hint of this being hmm, imbalanced, so if there's a person in a position of power or authority over others, if there's mistreatment or maltreatment, if there are people with stronger energies than others, that's something that a PDA will intuitively and energetically pick up on instantly. And it causes this internal shift within. So the way that we behave in response to domineering or overbearing or doesn't even have to be that way, just a person telling us what to do the way that we respond in behavior is this organic drive to rebalance the environment. So it's not so much about us being control freaks and needing to control everything all of the time. It's more about us wanting what is equal and fair and just for everybody but I don't often hear people speak about PDA that way because we're often focused on behavior and we're focused on children who have not yet come to a place of being able to uh, have a level of insight where they can think about their behavior or what, what they'd like to do or where they'd like to be. So, we will see extreme behavior in younger people. Anyway, just a different spin on the control aspect of PDA, and I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon.